Hello and thanks for watching. My name is Angel Villar and I am a system engineer at VMware. On this video we are going to see how NSX helps improving the security level of an organization by automating the reaction against security threats. The most typical use case is what happens with the antivirus. In the example we have five VMs running in production and when one of the antivirus that integrates with NSX detects that any of the VMs is infected, it notifies NSX which automatically puts the VMs into quarantine. And this quarantine can be any action that has been defined by the security team, for example, complete isolation, uh, access restricted only to the remediation server, traffic redirection through an IPS or IDS, traffic redirection through a new next generation firewall, etc. And on the next antivirus scan, if the VMs are found to be clean, NSX can automatically put them back into production, recovering the same level of access they had previously. For this automation to work, there are a few components required. First, the VMs we want to protect need to be running the VMware tools. Second, we need to deploy an NSX specific VM known as Service Virtual Appliance or Guest Introspection VM, which is responsible for retrieving file activity and information from the protected VMs. And finally, we need to deploy the Security Partner Appliance, which is responsible for doing the file scan and detecting the infections. This appliance is managed through the Vendor Security Console and gets updates regularly according to the vendor policy. All other communication between the different components happens on the ESXi host memory space using the VMCI channel. Further details of how this communication works can be found on the VMware knowledge base in the article Troubleshooting Vigil Endpoint NSX Guest Introspection. And the same mechanism applies not only for the antivirus but also for the vulnerability management and file integrity management tools that integrate with NSX. The full list of NSX partners can be found at VMware.com under NSX product category under technology partners section. With all this set, let's go for the demo. This time the demo will focus on the functionality and not on the implementation details because that would force me to show one specific partner and I want to stay neutral. To see implementation details you can always visit the VMware Hands-On Lab website, click on Focus Networking, browse for your favorite security partner and play with the lab. Let's now move to the demo. We are going to use a Windows 7 VM which is connected to the NSX B Friday logical switch here we can see its name, AV Windows 7.01a. Before running the tests, let's review the firewall configuration, where we can see the default rule is configured to block all traffic, and that there is a section that defines some rules between two groups, group 1 and group 2. If we look at the membership of these groups, on group 2 there is one web VM, which we won't use on these tests, while on group 1 there is another web VM and our Windows VM. On top of this section there is another one called antivirus with a rule that blocks all traffic coming from the quarantine group. If we look at the members of this quarantine group we can see that initially it's empty. Let's now review the details of the Windows VM we are going to use for the tests. can confirm its name and we can see it has an IP address of 172.16.10.13. In terms of NSX, initially it only has one security tag applied which is the one related to group 1. Let's take the console of this VM, where we can confirm the hostname and IP address are the ones we have just seen in vCenter. So now let's start a ping to the web server 172.16.10.11, which we will use to test the connectivity and for downloading an infected file into the Windows VM, which will trigger the antivirus scan, which in turn will make NSX automatically move this VM into the quarantine group. Initially the ping works and we have web connectivity into the web server as well. Let's now click on the link at the bottom to download the infected file. We save it into one of the folders of the Windows VM and we will see how in a few seconds, as soon as the antivirus detects the infection, the ping will be automatically stopped. So here we go. The file download has not progressed and the ping is automatically blocked. We keep it running for a few seconds to confirm the VM is in effect isolated and then we will go and check what has happened in the background ping keeps failing. So let's go and check the VM properties again. So if we refresh the GUI, we can now see that there is a new tag which has been automatically added by the antivirus. Antivirus, virus found, threat medium. 
And it is by using this tag how NSX has been able to add the Windows VM into the quarantine group. We can check the members of the quarantine group and here we can see our VM. So now the Windows VM is subject to the quarantine rule which has been defined in advance by our security team. And this concludes the demo. So we have just seen that VMware is a key enabler for the digital era because it takes security into a new level with agility, simplicity and visibility. We have just seen how NSX provides better security because it's intrinsic to the infrastructure and can be automated. And in short, NSX is a complete platform for advanced networking and security. So again, thanks for watching. I hope you have enjoyed the demo. And don't forget to check my YouTube channel where you will find this and many other NSX related videos. Thank you.